Tests of the Leopard 2 ARC-30 tank continue. According to a post by defense analyst Nicholas Drummond on his X account, the Leopard 2 ARC-30 main battle tank developed by KNDS continues its tests. In this context, the ongoing tests evaluate the potential of combining the tank's capabilities against unmanned aerial vehicles and anti-tank missiles as part of next-generation active protection systems. These developments are aimed at restoring the tank's superiority on the battlefield, especially in an age where precision-guided missiles, drones and other asymmetric threats threaten the effectiveness of traditional armored vehicles, Army Recognition reported. In 2024, the French-German defense company KNDS introduced the Leopard 2 ARC-30 main battle tank, based on the Leopard 2 tank. Designed for a three-person crew consisting of a commander, gunner, and driver, the tank has an unmanned turret that does not require the crew to enter the tank. In this context, the design of the turret improves the tank's stealth profile and reduces the targetable area by 30%. The tank has a configurable weapons set for both direct line-of-sight and non-line-of-sight engagements, and aims to provide advanced tactical and situational awareness with its sensor suite, which includes aircraft control. The Leopard 2 ARC-30, which has a digital mission control system, also has a four-dimensional 4D fire control system based on X-by-wire technology where electrical or electromechanical systems are used to perform vehicle functions traditionally achieved through mechanical connections. In terms of technical specifications, the Leopard 2 ARC-30 weighs less than 60 tons, depending on the configuration, and is 11.17 meters long with the gun. Offering a range of 460 kilometers with its 1,500 horsepower engine, the tank can reach speeds of over 65 kilometers per hour. The Leopard 2 ARC-30 has a NATO standard 120mm smoothbore gun with options for the L-55 or L-44 variants, promising significant firepower against armored targets at long ranges. In this context, the tank has a structure where 130 or 140mm guns can also be integrated.